The following lesson is linked to learning outcome 2, reading and viewing. It addresses the assessment standard that requires learners to demonstrate various reading and viewing strategies for comprehension and appreciation. Learners should be able to skim texts to identify main ideas by reading titles, introductions, first paragraphs and introductory sentences of paragraphs. Learners should also be able to scan texts for supporting details. Hi, I'm Nicola Shongwe. In this series, we're going to learn the skill of summarizing. This means that when we read through a passage, we will be able to pick the most important points. Without realizing it, we summarize in an informal way every day. When you tell a friend something which you did, you focus on the most important incident only. You leave out any information that is not really an essential part of the story. Summarizing is the ability to pick out the main ideas in a text. Summarizing is an extremely important life skill. You don't only use summarizing to tell people about incidents that have occurred, the plots of movies, or what happened in the latest book you have read, but you should also use summarizing for your own studying. In every subject, you should be able to pick out the important points so that you understand your work. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to read a text and have an idea of what it is about, and find a specific piece of information in a text. In today's lesson, we will learn how to skim and scan a text. Skimming is when you look quickly at a text to get the general idea of the content. When skimming, we need to ask ourselves, what is this text about? It's important to read the passage with your brain as well as your eyes. If you think while you read, as opposed to just letting your eyes move over words on the page, you will be able to find important points far more easily, and you will remember what you have read. Skimming will help you read with your brain. We often use skimming when we need to find out whether a text is relevant or not to our needs. For example, when we're researching a project, we may skim through the internet or skim through a textbook to see if the details that we're looking for are present. Once we've found a suitable text, we would then read it more closely to find out what is contained in the article. If we had to read every single article, it would take us hours. There are three things you should use to help you skim. When skimming, you should look at the title, read the beginning and end of the text, and examine the first sentence of each paragraph. Let's give skimming a try. Look at the title of this article Read it with your eyes and your brain and see if you can tell what the article will be about. Online grocery shopping nicely in the bag. What do you think this article is going to be about? The title tells us that the article is dealing with grocery shopping and the word online tells us that it's about computers and the internet. So just from the title, we see that this article is probably about shopping and computers. We can test our predictions by reading the first paragraph. Working mum Kathy Stadler is a confessed shopaholic. 
she visits both Woolworths and Pick and Pay to compare prices on her weekly shopping list. Here we have an example of a person who shops and the names of the places where she shops. Although it doesn't say here that she compares these prices online, we can assume from the title that she does this. Our predictions based on the title are proving to be correct. Next, we would have to consider whether it's worth reading the whole article carefully. But since we are skimming, let's move on to the last paragraph and see how it ends. Stadler is one of 70,000 South Africans who go online more than once a month to buy goods and services, according to research by Gemini Consulting. This last paragraph explains that many South Africans do their grocery shopping on the internet. So we are still on the same topic. Kathy Stadler is the example that the journalist used to introduce the topic of online shopping. So now let's look at the first sentences of the other paragraphs to see if this article would be suitable if we were writing an essay or doing a project on this topic. The first sentence states, Stadler shops online. And the second sentence asks, why trolley bash and get stressed? From these two sentences, the reader gets more information on the article. This paragraph appears to focus on Stadler's shopping habits. The next one seems to give reasons as to why people choose to use internet shopping. For example, it could be seen as a less stressful form of shopping. So, from reading the title, the first and last paragraphs, and the first sentences of the middle paragraphs, we can easily tell what this article is about. What we have done here is we have skimmed through the article and determined the general idea. Now let's look at scanning. Scanning involves glancing through a text to find a specific piece of information or to decide if the text is relevant to your needs. We use scanning to look quickly and closely for something specific. We skim to find out the general idea of an article. Scanning is a valuable skill as we often need to look for a particular piece of information. For example, you may want to find out how to clean a new kettle. You will scan the instruction booklet until you find the section dealing with cleaning. You will ignore the information which is not necessary at the time, such as power requirements or what different models are available. There are three things to look for when you scan. Names, dates and keywords. Keywords are usually the most important of these. Let's look at an example of the type of assignment you might need to do for English and how you could use the skill of scanning. Find information about the places where William Shakespeare lived. Books and internet articles on Shakespeare are very easy to find, but you wouldn't have time to read all of them. In fact, if you had to read all the information on Shakespeare, this assignment would take you years. The aim of scanning is to work smarter, not harder. You need to zoom in on the specific details that you're looking for without reading through vast amounts of information that is not relevant to what you are working on. How could you best scan through the information to find what you specifically need? You could train your eyes to look at headings and bold print that would catch your eye if the title applied to your needs. Scanning means that careful reading must take place. Allow your eyes to travel over the words and then anchor them to words which you are looking for. 
Remember that, like skimming, this is a skill and will get easier with practice. An effective reader uses scanning in many situations, including outside of the school environment. You will need scanning to find important information in an article or to look for a fact in a body of text. You don't read the dictionary from cover to cover when you're looking for a single definition. You would go to the section where you know you would find the word and then scan through the list of entries until you find the specific word that you're looking for. Scanning is not only used with words. Scanning doesn't just apply to words. You may drive down a street looking for something in particular, such as a house number or street sign. When you're looking for a specific telephone number, you run your eye down the list until you get to the name you need. When you walk into a crowded room, you will scan the crowd to find your friend. Let's summarize what we have covered in this lesson. It's important for you to be able to discover what a text is dealing with in general. This involves the skill of skimming. Your eyes will skip through the passage in the same way as a stone skims and hops over water. In this way, you will get a general idea of the article by noticing little bits of it. When skimming, we look at the title, the first sentence of each paragraph, and the opening and closing paragraphs. When we want to find a particular piece of information, we scan. When scanning, we look at keywords, names, and dates. For really good practice in skimming, complete this exercise. Look at a newspaper article. Decide what it is about without reading the whole article. Jot down your ideas on a piece of paper. Remember that you must always express your findings in your own words so that you can check that you have understood the meaning of the article. Once you have written down your predictions, read the whole article and check if your predictions were accurate. If you and a friend both complete this task using the same newspaper article, it would be interesting to compare your predictions and when you have read the whole article, to compare whose predictions were more accurate. To practice scanning, look at one page of your biology, history or geography notebooks or textbooks. Follow these steps. Look for facts. Write down the facts in your own words. Leave out all the detail which is not essential. And make study notes from these facts. In the following lessons, you will learn more skills for summarizing. Watch out for these because they'll be useful for all your subjects at school. See you soon. Bye-bye.